This is a very, very special magnet. And I always work with this magnet on the end of a tool because we can't afford to have it lost or dropped or broken. This magnet lives inside of the motor pulley that drives our robot. And it's the only way that the robot can find its way navigation wise. The magnet comes shipped together in a sealed package with an encoder. This one's called AMS AS5048B. And it is a high precision magnetic encoder that tells about the rotation of the magnet with 14 bits of resolution. So we know within 0.2 degrees of turning whether this pulley has rotated. Here's how we know that this magnet is special. If you drop a ferrous item on there, it's going to choose a direction. That means the orientation of the field is like this. We have north on one side of the diameter and south on the other. Whereas a common everyday magnet doesn't care about its direction and doesn't doesn't choose a direction if you want to orient something ferrous on it. That means the poles are on the top and bottom. You dig? Without touching the assembly, our magnetic sensor or rotary encoder is able to measure using this chip the position of the magnet here and the rotation of the gear train. So it's a diametrically opposed magnet, but recently one of my students showed me that he can convert this into a diabolically opposed magnet because it fits right inside of there and it's very hard to get out. Oh, this is how students are able to continue teaching us forever. So if you drop your magnet into an impossibly tight space, I can recommend one drop of this E6000 glue at the end of a tool and give it 10 minutes or so to cure with the tool fitting inside. Just leave it balanced for it to dry a bit and then you can pop that out.